Shares of Lumen Technology is turning lower after an initial pop in overtime after reporting earnings and increasing the free cash flow guidance for the full year. The company also announcing a new partnership with Google Cloud earlier today. I spoke with Lumen CEO Kate Johnson in an exclusive interview today, and I asked her about the quarter and the company's ongoing AI-driven transformation. The big story is that big tech is choosing Lumen to build out the trusted network, to be the trusted network for AI. They're asking us to expand the internet at large to support growth in AI. And networks of yesterday, they just aren't fast enough, they're not big enough, they're not smart enough, they're not secure enough. And Lumen is fixing all of that. And that's what we're talking about today. Okay, so talk to me about what that means in terms of deal flow. This morning you announced a deal with Google Cloud. Uh, what does mm -hmm. that bring to the table? So all three clouds now have come to the table to go long in partnerships with us. It's super exciting business, eight and a half billion dollars worth of deals just in the past two earning cycles to ask us to partner with them to build out network to support their AI ambitions. So last time you and I sat down, uh, it was after your last earnings, and you had disclosed $5 billion in signed deals, another $7 billion potentially in the pipeline. Um, since then, we've seen a, a number of press releases go out uh, with you disclosing some of those customers and some of these deals and partnerships. So where do you stand in that, with that pipeline now? Uh, how much new deal flow have you seen since then? So more than three billion new deal flows since we talked last time, the first five providing ample liquidity to fund our transformation. So we're self-funding now. This next tranche of deals, the three billion, provides us enough cash to start to delever the company. So we're investing in the future, redefining what networking looks like, not just for these hyperscalers, but for enterprises as well. They need to be able to consume network services in a fundamentally different way. They want it to be easy, quick, secure, effortless, and that's what we're building. So we just had Palantir report earnings, and AI is driving such strong growth at that company. And what's notable about it is it's, it's software. It's the application layer. Uh, and so it, it starts to, I guess, raise questions about how quickly we now start to see adoption in this next phase beyond the infrastructure build out. What are you seeing? So we think there are three phases. The first phase are the big software companies, whether it's social platforms, uh, the hyperscalers, cloud companies. They're all building and training AI models. They're seeing the data flows, and they're recognizing that the network's just not sufficient. It's a race for bandwidth. And again, they're coming to Lumen to say, help us expand the networks, but also help us make it easier to consume. And the second phase, we're starting to see you know, uh, little signals from the enterprises as well. They're starting to consume those, those AI models. They're using them and they're saying, wow, we need to upgrade our networks too. And so we're seeing increases in demand for our higher capacity services from those enterprises. Phase one, the hyperscalers building out the infrastructure. Phase two, enterprises using the higher capacity services. We think there's a third phase on the horizon, which is when AI starts talking to AI and the data volume we think will go up parabolic, parabolically. What do election outcomes mean for this entire conversation? Look, we're a publicly traded company. Either, either outcome of, to, of today's election, we're prepared for. We think about tariffs. We think about taxes. We think about regulations. I think what we want most is to ensure that we can continue to be fast and agile. And those are the outcomes that we're preparing for and you know, staying close to it. Does the AI secular growth story continue no matter what the election brings? So I, I think the AI story is a multi-decade story. I mean, we're a critical infrastructure, and these deals and partnerships that we have with the hyperscalers are multi-decade in nature. So yeah, this is a long game for sure. Anything short-term is, is simply that.